Well, let me, let me see. Let me be very clear here that uh, Floyd Corkins was responsible for the wounding of one of our colleagues and one of my friends yesterday here at the Family Research Council. But I believe he was given a license to do that by a group such as the, the Southern Poverty Law Center. Uh, who, as you pointed out alert, earlier, labeled us a hate group because we defend the family and we stand for traditional Orthodox Christianity. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, Megan, there's no room for that in a, in a society that, uh, such as ours that is governed by a constitution and where we shape our laws uh, through elections and through public policy debates. And, and I think it's time for people to realize what the, the Southern Poverty Law Center is doing with their reckless labeling of organizations that they disagree with. I know that you actually, you were unhappy with that designation and you asked for a debate uh, with, the, with the Southern Poverty Law Center, is my understanding, about that label. What was their response? Just what you're getting from me. Silence. They didn't say anything because here's the de here's the truth, Megan. They don't want to debate. That's what this is all about. It's about marginalizing and ultimately silencing those they disagree with. It's not just us. They did it to. They actually did this up in the state of Minnesota with a parents group that was defending a policy that the school board had adopted. Uh, SPLC comes in, files suit against the school board. The parents defend it, and they slap a label of hate group on them so that it marginalizes them. And of course, the media repeats that every time they talk about these groups. That, that marginalizes individuals and groups, and, and it opens up for people who are not right, that are imbalanced, like uh, Corkins, who comes in and, and literally had the intent of killing people here yesterday. And, and I'm not saying that the Southern Poverty Law Center is responsible for the shooting. Uh, Mr. Corkins is responsible for the shooting. They are responsible for creating an environment that led to yesterday's shooting.